Okay, having a look at doing some hardcore focus training on the end game process within the answer, along with the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board. We're looking now at hardcore practice of the system, really going for it, not quick and dirty tactics, but really going for the process. So attack the weak pawn, even though the queen is there. Let's see what we can do. It's all about what the opponent gives us that really makes the game. If we go here, pawn takes, knight takes, bishop takes, not necessarily winning out, but if we go here, then we have two pieces supporting. So we can push onto the bishop now. Aggressive, nice focus targeting. Let's get that in there. Let's get the queen in there. See if he's gonna get the big guns off the board. It does. Okay, so nice center, which we want to explode. We don't like this sort of center. Let's push on to the bishop. So it all depends on what the opponent gives. Now we can go and castle, or we want to really explode the king. Let's just touch on the king. Any moment we get, we're, we're touching on that king. Let's just bring the bishop back again onto the weak pawn, supported by the bishop at the minute, but the bishop doesn't really want to be doing that. Bishop now is jamming itself in a little bit. Let's just attack the knight. If you notice I've not gone on kingside castle, I'm trying to explode myself onto, ooh, that, that looks okay, but he's gonna drop the pawn onto our bishop. This pawn doesn't have any protection on, so we could actually attack this pawn with the bishop. Focus targeting, exploding over the opponent, let's go forcing him to probably bring his king here oh so he's not gone and castled he can't castle now so that's a bonus for us what can we do from here we could attack this bishop now really jam it in could develop our knight or we could go and castle to get the rook facing the let's go and castle get the rook facing the king he's going to want to get rid of our bishop because he doesn't want the king supporting it's actually attacking the white square bishop. What do we want to do? Keep this diagonal still? Blocking this pawn or just hide in between? Let's just hide in between here. I have no problem with that. Pawn's doing a nice job here. Stopping the knight. Yeah, it's coming down to block off the dark square bishop. So do we want to get really aggressive with this move now? Pushing here through the center. He's got one we take he's got one it's not going to be too good for us so pushing onto his bishop before he pushes onto ours and he's doing it anyway <clears throat> so I'll just bring the bishop back got a little bit of a blocker excellent right so we could push onto this pawn here develop the knight first I think bring the knight through behind yes let's bring it behind so we've done a good job so far. We've got two minutes and something because the king is now stuck in the center of the board. He's looking to open up this side. So he's captured, going to capture this pawn now. This pawn that's being babysitted. Knight probably, no, it's not gonna take. And we'll go for a check on the king capturing this pawn here. So now we can grab this pawn with a check with our rook. So the king is having to run and the bishop can now finally take this pawn here that it's been waiting and looking to come here but the knight is actually on there so he's moved this rook because he doesn't want that discovered check situation um our bishop is not got any protection on it at the moment i could double my pawns up quite nicely Mm, 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 mm. this pawn doesn't have any protection on let's go here we're on one minute 47 so we're gonna have to speed up now and he's coming down for a double double whammy with his rooks very good very good bring the knight across here he comes down with a double whammy we move up we'll move across here we do have our rook that can support so that's fair enough if the rooks come off, that's not a problem for us. Let's grab. If he forgets himself and brings his rook here, knight takes. 
Okay, so he's looking at exploding. So what we need to do now is uh, do, 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 do. we can take, but then his knight, his knight wants to get into the game here, doesn't it really? So I'm bringing my king across here so that we can get access with the rook, get the knight across here. Knight's looking for a check on the king or even onto this pawn. So now his knight can jump freely and the bishop's blocking off that attack but we'll go here with a check on the king and then oh was gonna go here but that damn knight is always getting in the way isn't it that damn knight is always getting in the way hmm because if we go there his knight takes uh, yeah but the problem that they got is quite a big problem because we've got to check on his king I suppose he's gonna go over and get our bishop but if he does so we'll grab the bishop here attacking the rook rook comes behind but then the bishop takes the rook 46 seconds I need to move faster we've got we've got the king somehow we've now got the rook and the um, so there's a whole heap of stuff coming off here uh, two yeah yeah okay gonna have to push now might have to take this pawn here i've only got 37 seconds and just keep pushing this oh i'm letting stuff drop he's got the let's go here he's gonna be taking all sorts of stuff now isn't he oh man come on come on come on 31 seconds no increment it's not clever Um, he's got my knight but if he takes the knight we push the pawn up and we get promotion possibly resigning at this stage oh hardcore come on uh, it looks like they've left the game three two one claim the victory Whew. so that's hardcore training this is the type of training I'm trying to keep pushing into my game doesn't always work but having that having the will to act and the motivation to keep driving forward um, the answer process the end game opening the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board it, it I feel a lot better with my game it's I, I'm seeing different things all the time so yeah I'm really really pleased with that okay some more hardcore training with the answer process okay we've got like um speedy gonzalez here let's attack this knight so hardcore is hardcore it's not not messing about there's no airs or graces going to castle in this situation so it's not going so i thought it was going to go and castle queenside and basic hardcore again it's just x-ray through it's all basic stuff this one so this one's going very tame so i'm going to attack the knight with the discover check on the queen queen does move so the queen is uh, doubling up and I'm going to attack the bishop hardcore fashion it's just constant pressure all depends on what the opponent gives hmm interesting so where is his king his king white square if i push on to his knight bishop here with the intention really of queen putting a bit of a touch on the king um not sure what that was um i'm not sure what that was put a check on the king wants to put checks on my king don't he with his queen do i lose tempo though with him oh, actually no so go here so we win the queen hardcore and they've resigned Whew. well okay this hardcore training really is the bee's knees okay so i'm gonna have a look at a different angle in how we play our chess today so we're still with the answer we're still with the 
end game opening and we're still with these simple direct moves to get pieces off the board but we're going to use it like a training session this is a trainer session now so we want the end game right from the opening so we really want to find the strong hard hardcore moves now to actually get that ending not the quick dirty tactics thing we want to get hardcore strong powerful moves to end the game if they and obviously we're going to get it by doing that because it's what the opponent gives us so that was made easy for us it's all based on what the opponent actually gives us they're probably going to resign in a few seconds now but we're looking at trying to deliver hardcore moves so what from this position what's the hardcore attacking and then he drops his pawn so it's a check on the king you might call it a nugatory check but a check's a check hardcore let's take it off it's still got the check on the king what else is there let's I think this is pretty hardcore pushing onto the pawn pawn takes queen gets access to the king area for a split moment doesn't take interesting push onto the pawn I think this person is playing hardcore they've not actually resigned they've lost their queen like I say just because you do lose your queen doesn't mean you've lost the game attack a key piece the bishop <coughs> holding these pawns together like glue strong hardcore moves I've not even gone and castled yet this is how hardcore we're trying to focus this training session and single pieces can't do can't do it by themselves but <coughs> if the opportunities are there to grab which we're going to because the knights hunt the bishops in our mantra so what's the next hardcore move i really don't want to dry out there must be something queen wants to go here but he's got the bishop there <sighs> white square bishop what, what can it attack knight what can it attack it looks like i'm gonna have to now develop the knight and castle so oh what's hardcore now look at this dark space that's on here that must be hardcore queen now targeting the king rather than going castling he's got his bishop that potentially could have come here to block our king from castling the hardcore bang let's get in could come and defend with his king just moving it across he doesn't hardcore bang again got the outpost here but the knight is controlling that area and we do have hardcore and we could take off a rook and then we've got more material on the board that's dragging out the process but i believe it's still hardcore it's reducing down the amount of pieces to get the capitulation so let's grab the rook so the knight's got the pawn but has it hardcore defense opening up the diagonal white square diagonal towards the king get the white square bishop in i'm getting excited about this game develop the bishop not even gone castled yet because we're going hardcore looking for the attacks on the king area let's attack the king let's castle now do we want to castle king side or queen side because the king is over on this side here I think we're going to go and castle this side but what's hardcore pushing this pawn onto here i think so winning that tempo let's push rather than castle if he takes we take if he doesn't we push this oh he does take so we capture we're on this pawn here his king should come and defend but now we've got open space in front of the king with the rooks yet so the king's defended so hardcore he now his rook can come and attack the bishop time to castle link up the rooks 
and let's bring this rook here defending then we've got hardcore check on the king to win the rook so we're up materially so we'll put the check on the king and we take the rook so we can take the rook or let it go let's go and then put a check on the king again I don't think it gets any more hardcore than this uh, the knight's defending this pawn could we shoo the knight away no not yet bishop can attack put a check on is there anything else time is running out let's come here and attack this pawn it's got no protection on knight is doing a nice job he's going to have a pass pawn let's grab this pawn so he'll want to push this pawn down now he's not so let's put a check on the king we have to be still be careful because his king is making his way down let's put a check on here if his king moves down then we go up if he goes up and let's grab this pawn with a check and take the bishop with a check and let's uh, move here I really didn't need to do that should just go here let's push let's push time's running down we're on a minute let's go and let's go so we don't want him running out of moves to make do we let's put a check on let's get the queen and which way let's check check we might run out of the ladder because the bishop's in the way Yeah, the bishop's in the way. He can still move his pawns, so that's fine. Hardcore session. Uh, oh, he's got a check on me. He still can move his pawns, so that's fine. And checkmate. That was hardcore training with the end game opening with the answer, sorry, as well and the simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board.